Right, let's go make ourselves useful. If the Nightmare is at work here, they'll need us. Forge. Kate said the blacksmith may need help. Damn it. <gasps> oh. Forgive me. I ought to startled. Oh well. Ain't you a sight? Who are you? Red McCraith, ma'am, the Banisher. To whom do I owe the pleasure? Oh, the Scotsman. I like your accent, and I like your manner, too. Nelly. Nelly Heaton. A friendly Londoner. I like her already. To the point, madam. Kate Newsmith worries for you, and for your husband, too. He around. Fortune left some hours ago, and hasn't come back. I confess, I'm beginning to worry. What if the beast got him? Did he not say where he was going? Thick skin has him making nails for the stockade. She presses him, and he feels the weight of it. Did you fight? We're best friends. We don't fight. He's a good man. He never lies. He'll put you at your ease, and before you know it, you're laughing. He is also devout. Almost forgot. It wasn't always so. Coming to New Eden saved us. It saved the marriage. I should go look for your husband. He's no woodsman, so he can't have gone far. Please, do find him. I didn't come this far only to lose him now. Can I have a look around your house? Yes, if it helps. So... What's the chatter? Bad news travels faster than good. What would you like to know? How's life about the place? We're doing our best to make things work. The beast is worrisome, tis true. But thick skin knows what's what. I'm sure we'll be fine. 
What think you of thick skinned Newsmith? She ain't perfect, that's for sure. But she's independent, fair minded, strong in body as in character. She cares for us. I know it in my heart, even if she doesn't show it. Why else would she shield us from the beast? What can you tell me of Kate Newsmith? I like her. She's different from her sister. Sensible, watchful. When she speaks, I listen. Let's trade, Mrs. Eaton. All right, let's. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eaton. Welcome. I've enjoyed our chat. It's nice to have someone new to talk with. I have a feeling about the bed. Moments from the past are still here. Here and now, I lift the curtain. No ghost threatening Nanny. That's her husband. It seemed like he was fighting the urge to hurt her. Voices from the past waiting to be heard. Drill bit as dull as a hammer. Mine, all oh mine. Mine, all oh mine. Mine, all oh mine. That 
ghost sounds nasty. That ghost sounds obsessed. These nails look brittle. Metalworking isn't easy, but this stuff is surprisingly shite. Haskell chose the blacksmith for his mastery, but the work is poor. No blacksmith, and no tools. Could he have taken them with him? So, the blacksmith has gone missing with his tools. And a saltwater ghost haunts the forge. Let's go find it. Footprints. Tackety boots with hobnailed soles. They're stained. I think I can uncover the traces. Let's see if the trail leads to our blacksmith. A moment. Well, that's handy. Imagine all those years hunting ghosts, how much time we could have saved. Come on, let's go find our blacksmith. What think you of the blacksmith and his wife? Fortune Heaton's ghost haunts the forge. I'm sure of it. For Nelly's sake, I hope not.
picking up something spectral nearby. Would you? Yeah. Save Joseph, but please and Mary and Joseph assist me in my last agony. Stay, 
hurt. Come out. To safe. Uh, are, they, are they gone? Oh, thank you. Whoever you may be, for whatever you have done, I oh, thank you. I thought I was done for. Fortune Heaton, sir, and so very pleased that you came along. Red McCraith, the banisher. Weren't there two of you? There were, yes. As it happens, I've been looking for you. You have? Uh, what for? What are you doing out here anyway? Do you not fear the prowling beast? Oh, I needed a walk. A bit of fresh air, a bit of light. Forge is... Well, it's dark and hot, isn't it? I didn't mean to be a worry. We all enjoy walking the woods while burdened down with smithing tools. Why did you bring your tools? Yeah, why did I bring my tools? Why? Uh, why? Because... Because they're wanted. That's why. I'm sorry, it's just... I'm losing my tiny little mind. And it's them godforsaken tools that's to blame. I start working with them, and then I look up, and half the day's gone, and I am somewhere else entirely, and <laughs> that's not even the worst of it. When I return to the forge, the work is done. The tools are haunted, and I'm getting rid of them as deep in the woods as I can go. Did the haunted tools tell you to kill your wife? No. Yes. Maybe. No. I... I would never hurt her. Yes, they told me to hurt her. Maybe. Maybe I'd have hurt her. Can you help us? Yes. But I can't guarantee you'll like the result. I heard you praying. I thought I recognised the text. You did? You sure? Nelly painted him a pious Puritan. Aye. Thought he sounded Catholic. Oh, well, just coincidence? <sighs> Look, here's the truth. I'm a convert. I did it for Nelly. I am. Was Catholic. It was a convenience more than a calling. Keep it yourself, please. I need to fit in around here. I'm not here for you. You have other worries. <laughs> Don't I know it. Head for camp. I'll take a look at the tools. Once they're safe, I'll follow. Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank you, Banisher. I'll... <laughs> Thank you. I'll catch my breath and head back. I'll catch my breath and head back. The words of a ghost may resonate here. The ghost lays claim to the forge and everything in it. The flatter from the echo is missing from the toolbox. If it's not around here somewhere, he lied to us. I see the blacksmith has gone.
Is it just me or? I felt it too. Stay put. Something's here. Hidden. Spectral stains heading deeper into the woods. Odds are there's a blacksmith's flatter at the end of the trail. This is locked from the inside. Let's see where the back door leads. Fortune the blacksmith came deep into the dangerous woods. They who are haunted do odd things. Maybe the ghost wanted him dead. I feel something close. Ah! 
Ready and waiting. The hammer. Looks like Fortune tried to get rid of it. The hammer is the ghost tie. Now to retrieve it without breaking my neck. Yes, that would be a shame. We need to look for somewhere to cross.
I sense a trap. I sense an echo. All right then. Let's trigger the trap. Right. Not good business. Incoming. They never learn, do they? Watch out! Spectre position! Die, you bastard! Just me, you. I felt it too. Enough, Nelly. I warned you. I warned you this would happen again. No. Oh, look at yourself. You're pathetic. I want a divorce. <laughs> You're no Elizabeth Luxford. You are mine. And I'd sooner see you dead and cold than let you leave. What's going on here? Walk away, lad. This does not concern you. Oh, I think it does. What do you want to do? We should talk to his ghost.
Hear my voice and show your face. Oh my! <laughs> we are the Banishes Antea Duarte and Red McWraith. Whose ghost are you? <laughs> Do we really have to listen to this bastard? Nothing good ever comes of talking to the dead. At times, I'm tempted to agree. Who are you, and what do you want with the blacksmith? <sighs> my forge. My wife. My name. All mine. The bastard stole them. So you're telling us our blacksmith's a fraud? Why are you here? I want what's mine. Stolen away. Pride from my grasp. I want my work. My name. My wife. Your wife is not your property. <laughs> she was no one. A drudge who fancied herself a herbalist. <laughs> I plucked her from the dirt. I made her. All right, no. I'll not entertain this man a moment longer. You've been sowing madness in the mind of the man who replaced you. She can't escape me. Are you looking for revenge? I claim what's mine. She schemed it. He seized it. And I shall have it back. That night, on deck, Nelly asked for a divorce. What happened then? We saw what happened. I want to hear him say it. What happened on the boat? Ungrateful. Scheming. Errant. Oh. Watch it. Brad, come on. Distempered. Feeble. A weak woman, demanding care and giving none. I gave her a life and she stole mine. She had him kill me. That's not what I saw. I've had enough of this. Let's go. Now we know why Fortune Heaton died. He was a bastard, but murder is murder. Nelly and her fellow are haunted yet, and I'm concerned for their safety.
Something's concealed. Ivy blocks the path. shelter if you need a fire to warm you up. Could this be a treasure map? Looks like one. Maps don't necessarily lead to treasure. Aye, but what if this one does? Very well. Let's look for this treasure that obviously awaits us.
Look to me. You bastard. This spectral nest needs to be cleansed. Gather Mark Arsenalis. Brought more friends. Watch out. Spectre position. Me! More fun. Stop that spectre before it possesses the corpse. Trouble's about. Try another one. in left. Vector possession. I'm still here. Time for my soul. Bust. I think we've hit a nerve. Take it.
Was sind Lecht? Toughened up. Shite stuffed up. It's coming for you. No more drinks. Now would be a good time to speak a few words of power, just to be sure.
out and turn up. I'm right here, you know. Get back up. That spectre is looking for a body. Stop us, bastard. Peter. It's about to shoot. <laughs> You're in its sights, Red. Call on me. Reinforcements. Hugging all the fun. I'm a bear.
I think Fortune's ghost is here. Let's end this now. You should have said something. I was afraid to worry you. No secrets, we said. We did. Because this only works if we're together. Right. Together. Do you think the Banisher knows? No. Though I'd not swear on it. He's no fool. I am no Puritan. He must know that at least. Hush. Someone's coming. Banisher! You're back. Mr. McRae, my man came back and I hear I've you to thank for it. Don't celebrate just yet. I know the truth. Your secret is out. I don't know who you are, sir, but you're not Fortune Eaton. Don't be daft. Haskell hired the Puritan master blacksmith, Fortune Eaton. You're none of those things. You're not him. What do you want? I'd like your side of the story, madam. Very well. What? No. How do we know we can trust him? We don't. But we must take the chance. It's time. When you demanded a divorce, your husband threatened you. Was that the first time? It was the first time I'd asked for a divorce. It was not the first time he had raised his hands to me. I loved my husband once. <laughs> I thought he understood me. But Fortune was an angry man. He was angry, and I was in his line of sight. No matter who or what had upset him, the full force of his anger would fall on me. <laughs> Always on me. How did you two meet? <laughs> Funny story. Best you tell it, Nelly. On the crossing, Fortune was sick. He stayed below deck. When the weather allowed, I would take the air. One night, a voice came from the shadows. I should have run. But something in his tone told me he was kind. I was right. He is as kind as kind can be. We became friends. Dearest friends. Companions in murder. On the crossing from England, something happened. What was it? I'd had peace and quiet for weeks since we'd been aboard. Fortune was too sick to do anything. I even made a friend. I thought to myself, Maybe. Maybe this new beginning will be good for us. Maybe you'll change. Before we left, I'd sworn he'd never lift a hand to me again. Well, guess what? We didn't plan on killing him. I swear on it. Do you regret it? Do you regret any of it? What would be the point? And if I did, what would be the point of telling you about it? I'd have escaped him, in the end, but I'd have had to die to do it. I only killed him so he wouldn't kill me. The blame is on him, sir, not me. You're not Fortune Eaton. So, who are you? I am. <laughs> to hell with it. You're right, I'm no blacksmith. I, sir, am the fugitive thief Arthur Carty. But a good man, a repentant, hard-working man. If I am those things, it's because you've shown me it's all right. I'm doing my best to make a better life. Really, I am. What were you running from? Just the legal consequences of my illegal life. You sent me to find your husband, Mrs. Heaton. Find him I did. Your husband's corpse rots on the ocean floor, and his ghost has followed you here. I ripped myself of him once. What shall it take to do it a second time?
Nellie Heaton, you murdered your husband to find freedom, but instead unleashed his vengeful ghost upon you and the man who stole his name. Where is the justice in this? I'm not here to bring justice. I'm here to end a haunting. What claim have you on me? You're no better than Fortune Heaton. A pox on you. A pox on men and their cowardice. Yes. A pox on us all. Beneath the tyranny of bad men, I lived. By it, I now die. No, 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 no! My friend! My dear friend! Away with you! Get out of my sight! Murderer! Ouch! <laughs> 